everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to turn the very tasty Terry's Chocolate Orange into a pumpkin. And um, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It's really easy. It's just a little tray that I've made to sit it in. And then I've decorated the top part there. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So these are going to be little table favours favor, that I'm doing for um, my family members. I'm going to do a Halloween lunch. And um, these are going to be the favours on the table. But of course you don't have to have Halloween on there. You might just want to do a nice autumnal kind of table spread. Uh, you might do a little evening meal or something they would be really cute to just have as a little just because kind of thing and you could also be quite creative and maybe turn these into a Christmas favour you could decorate the top with some holly um, you could there are white chocolate versions of this and uh, you could turn them into a Christmas pudding put some holly and berries and stuff on the top so have a little look around I'm sure some of you will think of some other things but I just thought these are too adorable and I have to share them with you all so let me show you how I've made them Okay, so if anyone's not familiar with the Terry's Chocolate Orange, this is what they are here. Um, they are, I get them for a pound, so you can pick them up at your, um, I got these from Tesco online with my food shop, and they were a pound, but you can also pick them up in most supermarkets and like places like the pound shop as well, how they look. Usually you slam them down a few times to break up all the segments, and then when you open the top, all of the chocolate segments fall out like an orange. Um, and they're delicious so for a pound there's a lot of chocolate in here so it's good value for money as well but what I've done with these I've turned them upside down and this is where I'm going to add the glue to attach all the bits and pieces so that at least then when they take it out the bottom there is how they can still kind of reveal this and I just thought it was a nice thing as well because it's already covered so I have washed my hands um, sanitized all that kind of stuff but you know you're using food and I'm going to give this obviously as a gift I know it's safe um, because it's all sealed up there as well so that's the Terry's Chocolate Orange. So I'll pop all that to one side. So it depends on how many you're making. I'm just going to show you this one here, but you'll need obviously more of these if you're doing a few. But these here, this is three by, need my bigger scoreboard for that bit, three by seven and a quarter. In fact, I'll keep this one here. So three by seven and a quarter. And along the seven and a quarter side, you just want to score it three inches, three and a half, six and a half, and seven. Okay, so nice and easy. Now, before I fold and burnish it, I'm going to cut my circle. So I've got these two here using my circle stitched dies from the works. And I've basically cut this size here, two and three eighths of an inch, okay? And I'm gonna cut this one. So where you've got your quarter inch kind of fold here, so you've got that smaller one at the end, that's the one you wanna cut your circle into, okay? So I'm gonna lay this one down here and just lay that down and just pop it in place with some washi tape. I'm just going to run that through my machine. Okay, so that's cut nicely. And then what I've done, keeping that same die, I then got the next size up, pop them together, make sure you've got them equally kind of spaced, pop some washi tape to kind of hold them in place like so and then I die cut this green piece here to give me this ring which is going to frame that circle so you can see there how that looks okay so I'm just going to stick that one down and so that's just the next size up again if you maybe don't have nested circles and you're kind of using a few from different sets possibly that's two and three quarters roughly Okay, so I've just stuck that on there. So now you can fold and burnish those other score lines. And then what you're going to do is add some glue onto that small quarter inch piece. If you fold that and the side over, so you've got the half inch side and the quarter inch piece there, and then fold that whole kind of square over and it should line up perfectly with that score line. Okay, burnish over that, burnish those score lines. And if you carefully open it up, fold it back over then the other direction. Just open that up and you've got that little tray for it to sit in. So where the join is, just here, that's going to be the back. And then with this one here, all I've done is I've just used a foam pad just to attach them. So I'm just going to pop that across the middle there. So it doesn't interfere with the little, you basically you peel that label off and then it opens everything up. And then I'm just going to sit that neatly in the middle there so now we've got our little 
tray all set up there and then I'm going to decorate so I used I used the same I've got another really nice um, little pumpkin table favor little gift kind of basket and that I made last year and I used this ivy I believe it's still available it's a John Next Door ivy plate die it's this one here and I just cut a few out and then I kind of shaped them on my foam mat and I inked them up with a slightly darker ink there okay so it just gives them a bit more dimension but I used those last year and I just think they work really well as that pumpkin kind of vine so I've got that then for the little yellow flower which I've got here pumpkins sometimes have a little yellow flower on them and that's from the Bright Rosa flower border die set and then for the happy Halloween I've used the sassy crafting trick-or-treat again this was from last year I will see if it's still available and as always I'll link everything below you do get dies that you can buy to match as well it's quite a fun set but I really like the little happy Halloween so I'm going to stick that along the bottom so I've got the leaves there to make the I guess the, the stem, whatever you call this piece here of the pumpkin, it was using a piece of, well, it can be anything you want, any height you want, but mine was one by, this happened to just be scrap really, one by four. I used a paintbrush and basically just wrapped it around the bottom of the paintbrush, like so. So I've already done this one, so I'm just gonna show you how you get that effect. So just wrap it around and then pop some glue in there and then seal it and then squash it so you now have this thick piece and then if you get your bone folder you can just bend it enough that it holds its shape like so and then you'll see me stick it in a minute but a blob of glue and stick that on the top there for these little pieces I just cut the smallest slither or use your trimmer to get really small slithers and then again just wrap them around the bottom of a paintbrush or even around the bottom if you want to make very very thin a pokey tool and it will give you that effect now when you do use your hot glue obviously you don't want to put it straight on because it will it's obviously not going to go through this foil but it will melt the chocolate underneath so what I've been doing is get one of these I've got my glue gun here and just pop a bead of glue and just kind of wave it around just for a few seconds just to take that initial heat off and then if you use I've got my little silicon finger protector here and then just sit that on there it's not going to melt and then I can just squash it down the quicker you squash it down the quicker it cools but now that's just stuck in place like so and then I can get another one here again a little bead of glue give it a little cooling and then that one kind of layered them all up on the same side like so and then I add the little stalk I guess that's what it's called again I just put a bead of glue along the bottom and let that cool like so and then just don't worry about any glue coming out because you're going to cover that with the other leaves and the flower. But now if I bring that up, you see what I've got there. It looks really cool. And then I'm just gonna attach a few more little leaves and just kind of build them up around so you get quite a full effect. The flower's the last thing that I stick down. So I'm gonna attach these little twirls as well. Just kind of build up. I think I only used like maybe that. So I don't need all of that. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly stick this down and basically what I'm doing here is I'm just covering the glue so I'm going to stick the glue underneath the leaf and then just make sure that none of it oozes out because you want to kind of hide that now so you can use like a poker tool or something just to push down there but you want to conceal all of that glue that was exposed before And then with these pieces here, again, just a tiniest amount of glue. But what you can do is pop them under the leaves and then they're just attached to that. I mean, they only need a little bit. And then you can kind of like roll them up a little bit like so. And kind of have them lifted up and, you know, you don't want them to be perfect. And then the flower, I just pushed it right up to the bottom of that. I'm going to call it the stalk. I think that's what you would call it. And then just kind of lift 
pull the bits up around and you can pull these bits out a little bit more, make them a bit tighter. But I think it looks so, so cute. I love it. And then I'm just going to pop some of my liquid glue along the bottom there and then just stick that like so. There you have it five really cute table favours and they are delicious and I know these are going to go down really well when I display these on the table. So I hope this has inspired you, I hope it's given you some ideas, it's very inexpensive, it's very fun to do, it doesn't have to be a table favour, you don't have to have the bottom piece there, you could just have the chocolate with the decoration and you could have the happy Halloween as a little tag hanging off, I think it looks great. So thank you for watching, I link as much of the product that I've used today below and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.